Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we've got a really cool little folding arm drone to show you. I really like how this one looks. It's called the SYX31. We'll have a link in the description box below, but I want to show you everything that comes in the box, then we'll get it in the air. Uh, the box, when we did get it, was fairly smashed and some of the stuff was falling out of it, like the whole, the whole unit actually was falling out of it when we got it. So. But Little. all the buttons for the transmitter is on the back. There's no other instructions. Yeah, this I like that. This is all we got. That's all you really so need. You kind of need to keep the box. <laughs> uh, okay, you get four spare props in this giant plastic bag. Well, the cord Crazy. came in it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's the uh, charge cable for the little micro drone. It's kind of like folded up in there. Gotcha. <laughs> Just seemed like a big bag. Uh, I like the looks of the transmitter, but even cooler, one aspect of the transmitter it's is... It's a pocket drone! It is a pocket drone. This is stored in the transmitter, and the arms fold and unfold on it. Really awesome. One of the smallest little folding arm drones I've ever seen, and it just looks really cool too. It kind of just... I love the, I love the look. It's a different, I like, how, like, oval egg-ish yeah. shape to it. Yeah, it's really neat. I really like it, yeah. It's not a uh, camera drone or anything, but it does have some bright looking LEDs on it. The arms snap into place when they're all the way folded in and unfolded. I just really like how this thing looks. Very, just very different. So, I mean, having said that, let's turn it on and see how it does. I do like how this quadcopter looks. I really do. I think Popeye does too. He thinks he can catch this one. On off switches on the side. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Ooh, the lights are really good. Nice and bright. We'll turn on our transmitter. Solid lights, throttle up, throttle down. All right, we're good to go. I know what the buttons are because the back of the box tells me Popeye is ready to chase this one. You guys are gonna like the lights on this. I really like how this looks and it's actually a fairly quiet drone. You can kind of hear how quiet those motors are. I really like that. It's very nice. It's not a bad sounding quad. Now we should have flips, so I'm going to try that. It's called rotate key on the box, but I'm guessing that's our flip button. Oh, I hit the ceiling. <laughs> you definitely need to come Retrieval down. Retrieval dog! Bye -bye. He got it! Good job, buddy. <laughs> come here. You're supposed to bring it to me, not way over there. Those are super bright blue lights. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but oh, those are bright. Little eyeballs. Yeah, I like those. Wow. Okay, the fl it flipped, but it went up just a hair. Try another flip. I was waiting until Popeye stopped barking. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in, in late, later videos, when we have Popeye, we turn him down for you, so you don't have to hear the crazy loud barking. Okay. All right, flip time. All right, so it likes to climb maybe yeah. half a foot or so, but it's a pretty again. good flip. That was a good flip. <laughs> Not too bad. Just a little bouncy, but overall not bad. I think there's a button I can hit to turn the lights off. Supposedly. <laughs> Gotta find it. It's labeled there. You press and hold the top left shoulder. You can turn the lights off. But those are such cool lights, they need to be on. And now if I press the same button but not holding it, we enter headless mode. No indicator to tell us we're in it. That was scary. <laughs> yep, it was on the you top of the chair. My chair. Nice. Good. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Headless mode did not work very well. Hold on. Okay. Level. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it was facing away from you, or uh, toward you, so it would have flown back and hit you. Okay, the, the um, headless mode didn't work, like, at all. That was scary. Uh, and then we should have... Uh, let's see here, let's see. That's not headless mode. That was rates. So that would explain why it didn't work very well. <laughs> So, one and two rates. Here, let's test the It's really the hard to remember all the buttons. It really is. It's not labeled. It really is. But uh, if you only have one quadcopter, it's easy. But with the hundreds that we fly, and they're all different, I wish there was some unification that everyone had to go by. 
They kind of do. Flips are generally the top right, but anyway, we're at the low rate. We're gonna test the high rate in a second. So. Yeah. Here's the low rate, and now here's the high rate. And it's definitely much faster. <laughs> I can tell a big difference. Popeye is crazy. <laughs> he just jumped on the couch. And now, now we should have headless mode. There's the indicator, and the beep is awful, but it works exceptionally well. This is really good. Very good headless mode. I can keep the rotation going, which is the best test of it and fly, but I hate that beeping with a passion. So I would never recommend anyone to fly this in headless mode because of this awful beeping. It's horrible. <laughs> but look at it, I can just, if I face it uh, to the left and I push away, it still goes away. If I pull back toward me, it still comes toward me. So the headless mode works really well. Cool. Uh, do you want to fly it? Uh, what else? Do you have the test? Return that's home it. or anything? Get back, bye-bye. No, that's all the features. Yeah, that's all the features. Uh, yeah, I'll fly this one. Okay, it's pretty good. I think you'll like it. Okay. I'm, I'm oh gonna... Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh <laughs> boy. I'm gonna guess you don't have much battery life left. Okay. That's my, that's my guess. No! <laughs> There's the ceiling. Oh man, There's that There's the ceiling is in. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so that's three ceiling hits and one quad. It's doing a good job. There we go. Cool. Ooh, do I fly up and down as much as you? You fly forward and back a lot. Like, okay. You're like in the light, out of the light. Okay. <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> I go up and down. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Hey, that's mine. This is nice for a rainy day. We, <laughs> we like flying our little quads inside. I know, we rainy. like save them all up for a rainy day and we do like three or four in one day. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? You ready? <laughs> <laughs> it gives little Popeye something to do in the rainy days he too. He loves it. That's pretty good flight time, honestly. Whoa, felt <laughs> the wind. Okay. It is facing you. Good little quad, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I do like the lights on it with the red in the back and the blue eyes. Yeah. It makes orientation really easy. I agree. Popeye's just down there breathing. Yeah, I like, know. He's been breathing the whole breath. time. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> he's been chasing like, this is like the third quad he's chased. I told him to go get a drink between the last one, but he didn't. <laughs> Pretty good battery life. Yeah, really, really good. It's a really neat looking quad. Yeah. Folding arms and everything. It almost feels like you're flying a big, expensive quad, but it's just a little guy. Pretty cheap, too. We'll have it linked down below. It doesn't guys... drift or anything. Either. Right, yeah. Solid flyer. I didn't even calibrate it either. And the headless mode worked really well without the calibration. Yeah, great quad. Wow. I keep expecting it to die just like any I second. Know, I'm like not. <laughs> Usually they, uh, a quad of this size doesn't fly this, this long. It's pretty good. Wasn't expecting this. And that's what I like about this hobby and what we do. Sometimes 
The ones that we. Oh! oh. My. <laughs> Victory! There we go. There's a low battery. I knew it was getting low. <laughs> well, what I was saying uh, when it went down last time is the, the thing I like about this hobby and what we do is sometimes the ones that you just expect to be complete junk. Not that this, I wasn't expecting this one to be junk, but sometimes. And this price point. Yeah. You get some junky ones. Sure. And I just didn't think this one would do all that well, uh, but it really did. It was awesome and it folds up and sometimes you think you're just getting a gimmick you know with, with the folding arms but the functionality was actually there it was really good really good yeah look at that little setup just throw that on your backpack boom go you got like good little 10 minute flight time <laughs> i like it we'll have this link down in the description box below this one is definitely a win in my book yeah so go check it out thanks a lot for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye